Hey, this is Donnie, and in this video, we're going to learn how to take the bumper cover off and remove headlights on a Honda Integra. You're going to learn some body shop terms like R&R, and &R, R and i and DNR. You're going to learn what those mean and what the difference between them are. And last but not least, one of you are going to win a Craftsman tool set just like this right here. And to do tear down, to dismantle a car, basically has everything you need right here. And at the end of this video, I will tell you how one of you can win this. It's important to have all your tools organized uh, whenever you go to do, tear down a car. Not only your tools, but your tools, your parts, your hardware. And we're going to show you how to organize that. So let's go ahead and get started on taking this car apart. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and disconnect the battery cable, the negative battery cable. One thing when replacing batteries, you want to be careful to kind of hold the other end where you're not twisting as opposed at all. So I'm going to support it right here as I loosen this. Okay, we got that loose. The one thing you want to do is just drop it down in here because if it ever makes contact, it may become live again. So I'm going to go ahead and put a baggie around that just to isolate it. First, we're going to take these front lights off. And to do that, there's two Phillips screws, and we're just going to loosen them to take it off. I'll just twist this to take the bulb out. Now we put these in a bag and labeled it. And we tape these so it stays organized. Now we're just going to put it in the box. Now we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take the side marker lamp off. Now once you have the screw off, you can just kind of grab it and pull straight back. Now to take this bracket off, it has two Phillips screws that you need to take off. Okay, we got the side markers off. And we're getting it laid out in here, organized, so that way when we go back, it'll be easy to put back together, organized. And what we're doing, these parts we're taking off are parts we're going to put back on, and that's R and I. Uh, so you hear the term R and I, that stands for remove and install. That's so where you're taking it off, putting the exact same part back on. Now this fender, uh, if we can find another one, it's going to be R and R. That's where you remove and replace it. So you're taking the old part off and putting a new part on. So that's just some terms that uh, you probably need to be familiar with, is R and R and R and I. One more, this battery, we're not removing the battery, but we uh, disconnect it and we go, we're going to reconnect it. So that's disconnect and reconnect. So we're gonna also go ahead and R and I these headlights because I'm not positive, but I'm thinking this bumper cover probably has some attachments un underneath the headlights. I'm just gonna have to take them out uh, before I know for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. And this has three 10 millimeter bolts up here. And I believe there's one more down in here, and we may have to loosen this bumper cover and uh, wheelhouse area up first before we can get to it. It's a pretty difficult area. But I'm going to go ahead and take these three out. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and loosen this front bumper cover up. have two Phillips screws right here that I'll use the Phillips screwdriver with. And then there's a few clips back in here. And here's a little tip for you. If you're trying to work in this area, uh, sometimes this tire will be in the way. You know, if you'll turn the wheels all the way that way, now I have full access to this. Now when I go to take this back area off, I'll turn the wheels all the way the other way. And that way, I'll be able to get to that without, if you try, if you try to go at angles and screws, usually you're gonna end up stripping them. So you wanna get good access to the area you're working on. So I'll use this, take some of the clips off with this, Turn the wheel, get those, and uh, drop that wheel well, and then we can uh, continue. 
Another helpful tip whenever you work in areas like this, it's hard to see sometimes. So you can get you some type of drop light or you know light like this. And they even have little handheld ones that you can use, flashlight, whatever it is to help light, light in the area up so you can see. Okay, I've got one last bolt. It's right down here, kind of hard to get to. I think there's a little bit more room on the other side. Uh, didn't really create any access coming through here. So I'm just gonna have to go down here. And it's just gonna require that I do it a little bit at a time. But let me show you a trick um, whenever using a wrench. If you got just a little bit of access and you can only turn it a little bit, and we pull it off and try to, you can't get a bite because you don't have enough room to move it back. If you flip this around each time, you'll be able to get a different bite. It puts it at a little bit different angle. And little by little, you'll get it off. But sometimes that's the only thing that you can do. But anyway, if you're, happy, if you're in a tight spot and you can't, it will not fit on, flip it around and try. A lot of times that'll work. Got the wires just disconnected, got it all loose. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and remove this bumper cover. This uses the Uber Phillips. So remove these. Say there's one here, should be two here, then there's three under here. Okay, I got those, and up underneath there's going to be some more of those uh, clips that screw in. I'm going to take those out, and then we'll be ready to come off with the bumper cover. Okay, we've got all those loose, and now we're just going to, this is on a bracket here, we just got to kind of pop it off that. That. I'll do the other side the same way. And now we have the bumper cover on. We're going to store it until we go to refinish it so it doesn't get damaged. You can see right here where the Okay, now I'd like to tell you how one of you are going to win this Craftsman tool set. But first, I would like to thank Craftsman for uh, providing this tool set to offer you as a giveaway. So thumbs up and kudos to Craftsman. And I encourage you to check out CraftsmanClub.com and I'll put the description down here and uh, check it out. And you can become a member of Craftsman, the Craftsman Club and you can also receive special discounts. Be sure and check out this website, craftsmanclub.com. All right, to win this giveaway, first thing is you must live in the U.S. Number two, if you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up, give us a like. And the third one, we're gonna get a little bit more difficult with some of these giveaways because I'm gonna ask you a little bit of trivia. And the trivia to win this is Craftsman was named what? by Popular Mechanics Reader's Choice in 2009. If you know the answer to that, go down to the description here and there's a link for you to submit the answer to. So if you know the answer, be sure and look below where it says more. And uh, in that description, there's gonna be a link for you to submit and it'll also give the directions uh, for you there as well. So submit the answer and you may be the winner of this tool set. The winner will be announced in next week's Tuesday video. Good luck and we'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching this video and as always be sure and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and be sure and share this with your friends. See you next Tuesday.